Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Mike the Lab Guy titled, This Guy is 35 Years Old. Going to set fire to all this crap I don't want nor need. It's a shame all rapping so was wasted up front. I'd really enjoy getting a guitar, but that would involve exchanging all these stupid gifts that are unwanted and useless. So if anyone has the receipts, I need them immediately. Please and thank you. Wait, so if you can't get money for the stuff that you don't want or need, you'll set fire to it? I don't buy it. This next one is by Daya Trios, titled, Looking for a room in a quiet home where she cannot be quiet? Looking for a room for my daughter. She is employed and has been so throughout the pandemic. She is leaving her husband and needs something immediately in a quiet home. She does love to listen to her music loudly when getting ready for work and she leaves for work at 4 for 30 a.m. every morning. Also, she has a fear of dogs, so if anyone knows of anything, please inbox me. So wait, since she wants to be in a quiet home, but she likes to be loud, my guess is she wants to be the only loud one in the home? This next one is from Green Bolivian, titled, On a Facebook group where people give away unwanted items for free to people who need them. Looking for genuine AirPods Pro? Must have receipt to price they are genuine. I really don't think you're going to find anybody giving away AirPods for free, because if they still work, then that means they have value. This next one is by TM27, titled, A parent single dad harasses me for refusing 60 euro, $74, off a TV, then proceeds to contact me the same day with a different attitude before realizing it was me. 60. 60 what? Euros for the TV. Uh, did you read the ad properly? Yeah, I read the ad. Then I hope you can understand that the TV was up for 150, which is relatively cheap for a TV of its size. Fine, 70. That's still 80 euros less than I'm offering. I don't care. You know how hard it is to obtain things as a single dad? Yes, actually I do. I was brought up by a single dad. Sure you were. Yeah, I was. You're changing the subject. I don't have time to deal with children like you. 90 is my final offer. Take it or leave it. I hope you sleep like shit if you refuse this offer. My kids are looking forward to seeing a new TV on Christmas morning. 1. I'm older than you. 2. I'm not losing 60 euros on a 150 euro offer. 3. There are many cheaper TV options. All the cheaper TVs are shit. My kids want this one. 95. That's it. No more. Sorry. Not happening. I hope you get stabbed and raped in your sleep tonight. Okay, that's nice. And I'll probably find better TVs for half the price of my offer. Fuck you. Later on, the exact same day. Hey, just wondering if the TV is still up for sale. You're the third person I've tried today. I hope we can agree on a deal. You've got to be kidding me. What do you mean by that? <laughs> this is the same person you tried to get the 150 euro TV from for 60 to 95 euros. You again? Stop wasting my time, you fucking retarded piece of shit. Bye. You know, I really hate seeing when beggars try to play a single parent card. Yeah, being a single parent isn't easy. However, what they need to realize is people still need to be paid for their items and they need to be paid what those items are worth. They can't have a pity party just because the person's a single parent. This next one is by Certain Furball titled, I want your art. I will own your art. You get no royalties, but you get exposure. Artist wanted. Hi, I need an artist. It would need to be free of charge. The only payback they would have would be their art to feature on the title page of a book that will be for sale on Amazon, in Waterstones, and Barnes & Noble, and a few other places. I would own the piece. They would receive no royalties. They would also be mentioned in acknowledgements within the book and be invited to the book launch. It is not a difficult piece that I need, but, unfortunately, I myself am not creative. 
Regardless if it's a difficult piece or not, you're asking them to perform a job. You're going to use that to make money off of it. A lot of people buy a book based on what's on the cover, so in effect you're making money off their artwork. The least you could do is pay them for their service. This next one is from Rick Spanish titled, Just Send Me The Stuff, Thanks. Can you buy me some girls only fans? I've been wanting to see some stuff from her. I'll send you the link. Can you text me back once you buy it? Thanks. Sends link. Just send me the stuff. Thanks. You want me to spend my money to get this girl's nudes and then send them to you for free? Am I reading this right? Yes. I'm kind of speechless here. I mean, <laughs> even for a beggar, you would think that they would know better than to ask somebody to buy them somebody else's OnlyFans. This next one is by Cranial Bone, titled 32 inch need not apply. Just wondering if anyone has a spear TV they could give myself, my kids, this mine was stolen before Xmas. If you can help out, that would be much appreciated. If anyone has like a 50 inch or something about that size, I only watch the news and a few shows, but it's more for my boys to play PS4 and stuff on. If you can help, that would be awesome. Thank you and Merry Xmas. May you all have a fantastic day. New Year as well. Much love from my family to yours. XOXOXO. You're asking for a spare TV, which somebody most likely has one. However, they probably don't have the 50 inch you're looking for. So if you need a spare TV, you need to take what you can get. This next one is from Blackberry Skeed, titled, Ex-Neighbor Choosing Beggar Doesn't Want to Pay for Custom Order. Hello, girly. Red just freaked out about your Facebook post on Harry Potter. Would you be willing to sell me a journal and necklace for Christmas gift for her? We're at work and she's telling us how crafty talented you are. <laughs> Aw, how sweet. I would love to do a custom order. The journal is one of a kind, so if I were to make another one, the cover would be a bit different, if you're okay with that. I have several covers you could choose from. That's fine, you choose. I know nothing about Harry Potter. She is so excited about necklace. Thanks in advance. Awesome, I'll get started on them. The necklace would be $10 and the journal would be $30, since they take a while to make. Is that okay? Absolutely fine. I'll pay you in money cash. Buy the girl something cute. Perfect. I will. Sends pick. The journal is finished. Awesome. Love the blue. Glad you like it. The necklace will be done in a couple days. I keep forgetting to tell you that everything is finished. Perfect. How would you like me to pick them up? Total price? What about one night this week? Red can drive me over and I will just pick it up quick? Total price is $40. I can probably drop them off sometime next week. I'll need to get groceries and I love Walmart pickup. Perfect then. Just let me know date and time. Okay, will do. It will probably be Wednesday. Sounds good. We'll be picking up our groceries in blank between 9 and 10 tomorrow. Showed pick to Red just now. He knows Blank loves Harry Potter, but doesn't think she will ever wear the necklace and won't write in journal. He doesn't think it's the right gift. Sorry. Beggy, these took days to make. You can't custom order something and then not pay. Oh my, I thought the set was made when she saw pics of both of them. She sent pics to me and they were made already when I saw them as well. Sends pick. I confirmed with you right here that it was a custom order. Really? You will be able to sell it if you already sold one set as you say. No, I didn't sell it. I made it as a gift for my niece. The journals only sell when they're a custom order. It's one thing to say you don't want it and a complete other issue when you're lying about not knowing it was a custom order. I made it very clear multiple times that I was making these items specifically for you. Lying? I have not even mentioned custom order to you. I said I didn't want the order first, and never did I lie about custom order. Never even seen Cam into my conversation. For you to even say lying, we are done texting. Have a nice holiday with family and friends. I was specifically making these items for you. That is called a custom order. 
Go back and read the messages and explain to me how you didn't understand that these weren't already made. I confirmed the journal with you to make sure you liked the cover. I went on to tell you that I was still working on the necklace. All of our correspondence supports that. I didn't already have these items made. I just absolutely don't understand how that wasn't clear, which is why I used the word lying. I'm sorry if that was too harsh. I like how the beggars trying to act like they didn't know it was a custom order when in fact they were told that it would take time to make, hence the reason for the pricing, but I guess they just are a selective reader like many other beggars. And our final one is by It's Average, titled My Coworker is Too Good for a Free Meal. The company I work for announced a while back that there won't be a Christmas party this year for obvious reasons. This is my first year with the company, but from what I've heard, the party is a pretty great time, so everyone was quite disappointed. At the event, each employee receives a gift card to a local mall or business. The amount varies, but it's typically in the range of $50. Nothing to sneeze at for sure. Anyway, it was announced that in lieu of a Christmas party, the company was going to provide a gift box for each of us containing a turkey, some vegetables, a pie, and some other items to round out a nice Christmas dinner. Most of us thought this was a nice gesture, seeing as it would have been pretty easy to simply cancel the party, cite COVID as the reason, and save a bunch of money. One coworker, the choosing beggar in question, was not happy about this. During our shift last Thursday, the manager phoned us up saying that our boxes were ready for pickup and that we could pack up early. Choosing Beggar blew up, ranting on and on about what an insult this gift was, how it's beneath him, and how he wants a gift card or nothing. Keep in mind, this is a grown man, and people were around. Real embarrassing sight. We tried to talk him down, but he continued to say how insulting and demanding this was and how he doesn't need a turkey. Well, fair enough. You're one guy and that's a lot of food. A coworker of ours, who was a real sweet young lady but unfortunately not very well off, asked if he could pick up his box and give it to her and her family. Choosing Beggar refused, saying that he wouldn't touch it out of principle. The food bank was also out of the question. He even phoned the manager back to tell him what he had just told us. The manager was rightfully pissed and sent him home for the day, telling him that by refusing to pick it up today, he was forfeiting everything and that he couldn't come backtrack later on. Choosing Beggar agreed and stormed off, so the rest of us went off to pick up our meals. A bit of an aside here. Out of the four of us on the crew that day, two of us had been forced to go to the food bank at least a couple times in the past few years, so listening to this guy go on about how a free meal wasn't good enough for him had us rather angry, especially considering the state of the world right now. Back to the story. We showed up at the shop and the gift box blew our expectations out of the water. A 22 pound turkey, bags of vegetables, an apple pie, stuffing, gravy, and cranberry sauce, all locally grown and handmade, complete with a baking tray, meat thermometer, and instructions on how to prep and cook everything. And for a little icing on the cake, tucked into the corner of each box was the $50 gift card that Choosing Beggar was ranting on and on about. Choosing Beggar's gift box, complete with the gift card, ended up going to the food bank after all. You know, I'm really curious how that played out when not only Beggar, but everybody else was back in the office and people were talking about the $50 gift card that they got in the food box that was too good for Beggar. Alright, that's enough Beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.